welcome back today we are going to discuss about the various traffic studies which is continuation from the last session in the last session we discussed about the various uh, surveys to be conducted for planning process out of that one one is inventory conditions in that we discussed about the parking inventories existing road infrastructure infra road inventories we discussed after that one we completed classification studies today we are going to discuss about the various volume studies to be conducted for transportation planning process in this one we will conduct the different types of these studies under volume studies one is average daily traffic count hourly counts peak hour counts cordon counts screen line counts vehicle occupancy counts and future volumes will be discussed coming to the traffic volume study traffic volume is defined as the number of vehicles crossing a section of road per unit time at any selected period that means at a single instance how many number of vehicles are going to move are moving will be identified that is called as the traffic volume in this survey we will collect the information of hourly hourly basis daily basis and yearly basis and seasonal traffic volume variations will be collected information that means each hour how many number of vehicles are moving in a particular road or in a particular section of road per each hour how many vehicles are moving will be identified per day how many number of vehicles are moving or per year how many number of vehicles are moving and in seasonal time like rainy season summer season coming to the rural areas harvesting season or sowing season like this one season wise what is the traffic volume coming or what is the what are the variations will be identified next one volume and direction of the traffic total volume coming out of this total volume direction wise how much volume is going on in which direction vehicles are moving will be identified next one variation of vehicle flows on different parts of a road system will be gathered and proportion of the two wheelers cars heavy vehicles and slow vehicles etc will be calculated that is a traffic composition how many not only this one and buses how much share it was taking two wheelers how much share moving like this one the data will be collected coming to the volume study we will collect the inf information in this manner average annual flow that means on an average per year how many number of vehicles are moving average annual daily traffic that is adt by considering the annual flow annual traffic on an average each day out of 365 days each day how many number of vehicles moving will be calculated by using this one simple total volume divided by total number of days will give the average annual daily traffic next one average daily traffic it is per day how many number of vehicles are coming in this one for example if we conducted seven days survey out of seven days it will be multiple divided with uh, seven so that average on an average daily how many number of vehicles are coming will be identified and next one hourly volume per each hour how many vehicles are moving that will be called or identified as the hourly volume 
by conducting of the traffic volume studies what are the uses for us first one annual total traffic volume that means per annum how many vehicles are moving by knowing of that data we can establish the trends in traffic volume each year wise how the trend is going on for example in 2000 how much vehicles are coming in 2001 2 3 like this one year wise how the volume is going to change what is the trend either it is a downfall or upward it will be identified that is the annual total traffic volume next one annual travel in vehicle kilometers is it for economic analysis by considering the share mode wise share how many vehicles are moving how many vehicle kilometers are moving will be identified for economic analysis and computation of the accident rates percentage share computation calculation of the accident rates how much rate of accidents are happening like rate 5 percent or 2 percent or 1 percent like this one for identification of the rate of accident the total volume count will be helpful and next one estimation of highway user revenue by using of highway they need to pay certain amount or maybe by using of highway the revenue will be generated to the country that revenue will be estimated purpose the annual total traffic volume will be helpful next one average annual daily traffic or annual sorry average daily traffic volumes how they are going to use means in highway planning activities like development of the expressways urban roads freeways bypasses etc for planning purpose we require that daily how many number of vehicles are moving on an average on an average annual daily how many number of vehicles are moving will be helpful in planning these things and prioritization of highway improvement program in which direction more number of the vehicles are moving on an average in uh, daily how much traffic is coming by knowing that one we will give the priority for highway improvement programs and for identification of the present day for service what is the demand is there in present day for calculation of this one also average daily traffic volumes will be helpful and in evaluating the present traffic flow with respect to the existing highway system also the average daily traffic will helpful and peak hour volume peak hour means out of 24 hours in which hour we are getting the maximum traffic that will be called as the peak hour generally peak hours will be two morning peak hour and evening peak hour and this peak hour data will be helpful for design of the geometric parameters with respect to the number of the lanes and width of the lanes and intersection design point of view this peak hourly volumes will helpful and in determining the deficiency in capacity also this peak hour volumes will be helpful and justifying use of control devices such as signals rotary markings etc will be either these are efficiently working or not for justifying purpose this peak hour volume peak hourly volumes will be helpful and developing operational programs such as one way street and designation of the streets etc one peak hour volumes will be helpful and justifying other regulatory measures like parking turning stopping etc will be decided based upon the peak hourly volume and highway classification type of the classification decided by peak hourly volume and justifying enforcement and its planning purpose this peak hour volume will helpful to us thank you